Uh, this is the free electron laser. Uh, this uh, piece of equipment uh, is designed to accelerate uh, electrons in uh, a, a very, you know, very, very high speed, almost uh, the light uh, speed, uh, million uh, kilometers an hour, and. Uh, I will uh, say that this is the only the national this the national research in Israel. Uh, it's the one of a kind, uh, one of a kind here, and uh, our uh, scientists, together with scientists from universities all over uh, Israel and research centers and uh, uh, defense uh, industry and others, are making use of uh, of this. Uh, uh, this piece of equipment uh, and and few things that I can give you an idea of what is coming up uh, from here if you see the, at the end of this uh, machine the, the light beam is coming all the way here and then it has two alternatives uh, one is to go with the pipe through the wall, and then we, I'll show you later the, the user's rooms. And the other one is to go to an antenna that's on top of the, uh, on, on top of the roof. And I'll start with the antenna. What we're working on is um, just imagine a robot uh, that you have up in the air. Today, the robots are working on, on fuel, and every time uh, you need to take them down, and to refuel them. We want to be able to make sure that the robot will stay up in the air uh, all, all the time. Uh, so uh, the idea is to send um, uh, a laser beam uh, to the robot that will have a battery, an electric battery, and to recharge it uh, uh, this way. Um, as far as I understand, we're talking about tens of kilometers uh, at this point that we're looking up to. Uh, in the long run, you're talking about uh, wireless uh, uh, electricity. Um, another thing that we're working on here and in other places is uh, we're looking for a, a innovative uh, ways uh, to enter uh, through uh, a um, skin or uh, through uh, a close and to affect to get to detect what's going on behind and even to have a treatment which means uh, we, we're trying to find ways to deal with cancer cells under skin uh, we're trying to find ways to detect what's under clothing for instance uh, bombers who want to come and blow up themselves like we we had in Moscow three days ago uh, that we want to know what do they have under their clothes uh, but we don't want to stand right next to them or we don't need them to go through a certain element like they need to, to do today but you want to see it from the far few meters away okay this is our master plan it's a master plan designed for 20,000 students in the year 2020 um, what we what we see here this is what's built today this and this uh, right now we're building here uh, the library um, and uh, we've just finished this building and these are supposedly the street of all the dormitories which are designed for 7,000 uh, students uh, these two uh, dormitories already exist we're now building those extensions and and the third a dormitory building. We're a very environmental friendly university and uh, part of this will be in a campus that will be only for pedestrians with uh, parking lots. Here we have a high-tech uh, park designed uh, here to, to work with all the excellent uh, a, uh, excellent uh, a, a research that we have here and last but not least in the heart of the campus that we're designing right now and is practically being built here we're going to locate in, in the center of campus the Jewish Heritage Center which will be the flagship of this uh, university as I said as I mentioned before which is uh, a Zionist uh, university.